Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Spoilers, a warning. If you're clicking on this thumbnail, you must be wanting to see some spoilers or maybe you want to write angrily. Why am I showing this stuff off? Well, it's a PTS server. Things do change. They showed off a bunch of stuff in the past and they ramped it during the PTS or they've done it and changed it a couple months later. This is one of the biggest and best updates Grounded's ever received. There is so much new content, so many new systems to explore. So I'm breaking it down in smaller showcase videos at the beginning and then we'll do detailed guides and walkthroughs. So today we're going to use some cheats to go and explore the haze all the brand new zones of the haze laboratory and everything else you come to expect with the new dangers when you're using these cheats it doesn't always spawn in the right enemies and the collectibles so there's still going to be a huge amount of a surprise for you when you go and explore some of these zones for yourself as we get deeper into the video so yeah I guess I'm kind of trying to clear my conscience a little bit. It's not the best thing to do this kind of stuff and show stuff off. But then again, I do actually enjoy it. It's part and parcel of my channel. It always has been. I've done so many guides on Grounded. I've supported them such as I can. But I've also been the first to show off and leak stuff in the past too. And I appreciate the devs might not like it. So I'm sorry, guys. I really respect you guys. I appreciate you've had me on. Don't hate me too much because I'm showing this off first. But obviously, it's the game. It's just in the game. So yeah, please leave a like, enjoy the rest of the video, and yeah, let's explore together my first reactions seeing the haze. So the haze environment is actually really super close now. You've got these funky tunnels filled with it. It's really close to spawn. You only literally have to go around the corner and you find that you're inside it. it does look like it may have reduced how much is on this top surface though. Now I've got god mode on, but normally it shows that I'm taking some sort of damage. So I do think, yeah, you're going to have to go deeper in there. Let's come jump down. Yep, they do explode. And you can see I've got the showing up on the screen now that I'm in the toxic zone. But yeah, it does seem to kill a bunch of these bugs. So it could be a really quick and easy way to get some of these. Oh! Oh! And the infected lavas are just going to keep exploding, it, it seems. Or at least twice. So, really super deadly area. You do not want to be in here. And see if there's any way to collect it. Strange spore. So, you can actually do it, but you're going to need a tier 2 weapon to actually gather some of this stuff. And they will just carry on regenerating more explosive stuff. It doesn't affect them at all, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, wow. This is going to be super OP. But if you're brave, quick enough, with the right gas mask, it could be worth it just to nip in here and uh, grab some bug parts if, if you can make it out. I've got a Mega Milk Molar. So these give you even more resources. You've got different types. You've got gold, and then I do believe you've got white and possibly even blue. So that's like a super special one. Let's actually take a look at the map. It's just to show you guys now, it's pretty much alongside the stick there and just to show you what it looks like now with the haze that's crazy okay so this is a real area that you might want to come to see if you can get some of these resources but the molars are going to give you upgrade points so i'm sure the gold one will give you much more but you're going to need at least a tier 2 item to break through there are so many of these guys down here all right, it kind of does just lead to nowhere so you might not be able to escape feathers Oh, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the way out. Oh, please, let me out of there. Okay, that is really dangerous. You're definitely going to have to plan your route of attack to get through. Even the ants close to it are dying from it. And there are some that have managed to get up as well. You can see now I've got the tinge around me as well, so it does mean I'm still close enough to take damage from this stuff now. Okay, there are obviously more infected creatures. It's not just the larvae. You have got the ladybugs Whoa, now. I'm going to go over a little bit closer. It is deadly now. And they fire little shots of goop on you. Oh my god. And they're just wrecking the environment as well. So again, could be a good way to harvest stuff. Oh, yeah. No, don't, don't want to go back in there. Yeah, we're running. This is new deadly, deadly territory. You do not want to be in here. Oh, so the whole tunnel's become infected. This whole zone... But it doesn't seem to affect spiders. You'll be pleased to know that wolf spiders are okay. It 
So it looks like you will get fungal growth and normal gnat or fuzz gnat stuff or insect stuff from them. Okay, that's really interesting. So I'm gathering just a bunch of these dead resources and creatures. And we have seen there's more tunnels around as well. So I'm going to have one last look because in the trailer it did show there was more. And you've got the exploding weevils down here. And yet the mites also throw more stuff at you now. A of things as well. Yeah, lots of bad juju. Let's run up here. Oh, there is an infected fly. You guys called it. I said it wasn't a fly. I said it was a bee or a wasp. But you guys were right. It was a gnat. God damn it. I was kind of hoping we'd get the bees or wasps added in. But not yet. Not yet. Okay, we've got to be close maybe to something. Something's making a noise. Must be right underneath us. This must be the entrance way to the laboratory. Yep, here we go. Oh, we're going to have to explode it with an explosion to get through. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like you can use the exploding uh, weevils to get through. And then when we do... It's not going to open to to me. Okay, that's a mystery we're going to have to solve. How do we get through the biometric scanners? So maybe it needs power change or something else done to it as well. But yeah, it's going to be a while maybe. So it does look like there is one more brand new laboratory system. And this is what I saw in the IGN footage. We're going to be taking a look at that in a separate video though. Because it's huge. It's absolutely massive. So yeah, look out for that one. Go and check it out. It'll be right up after this. Okay, I'm using my cheats now to go through and just show you. And remember, everything you see in here will maybe not be correct. There'll be enemies spawning, but they don't show when I'm using this cheat. There'll be resources to collect. There'll be burgle chips and all sorts and scabs, but they don't show. So kind of spoilerish, but not spoilerish. If we go through, you can see things have changed. We've got trash cans now littered with these little tins. We've got another analyzer that's been moved over this side. And there seems to be a bench with more stuff. So I'm guessing there's going to be some more collectibles. The cheats that I'm using at the moment don't always show up scabs or burgle chips. So just bear that in mind. If we do run over in a minute, I'm sure we might find some other stuff. And then if we go through the doors here, it's still going down like it's always done. It seems to be a bit brighter. The colours the same. Maybe have been brightened up a little bit. I can't remember if it was too yellow before. Lots of trash cans around. I'm guessing it's still going to have a lot of the art type enemies in here, like the robotic ones. But again, because I'm using this cheat, it doesn't actually spawn in a lot of the enemies. We've got experiments going on here now in these little windows. You can see we've got the different stages of the mushroom goop growing from normal to twisted and then to obviously its full conclusion. And this is definitely not somewhere you want to stick around too much. Like I said, supposedly these mushrooms will explode now. So you're going to have to be very, very careful. Maybe they are a resource that you can gather if you're quick enough. Let me know how that goes. Got another button to let ourselves in. And we have got another mini room with another power switch. Now, obviously, things will change. This is just the test server. They may adjust and change stuff up. They've done that in the past. And we know that they've revamped stuff even after changing it the second or third time. So I'm fully expecting some of this stuff to change again. The opening's still here, which kind of doesn't lead to anywhere. And then outside here, we've normally got a bunch of infected creatures. You can see it's a bit more gnarly. We've got these wires running. So maybe we do need to set up some power or it just could be potentially light in the way. There's new batteries that I've seen also in the sandbox area. And you can see we've got the entrance to the second part of the laboratory. And again, we've got another red switch you're going to have to press to get in. And whoa, this is big. This is different. So it's fully like escaped. It sells, although some things have still not managed to escape. Can I introduce you to... Mutated uh, lavas. So it does look like the new haze environment doesn't just mutate certain creatures now. It mutates pretty much all of them. 
Well, a bunch more have certainly been added. There's the usual mic that we're used to seeing. It looks like that's had a little bit of a touch up. And then we have got another verification little thing here. You can see just through the windows, the control room. That's always been there, but it's been moved back now with this big area. So I'm guessing there could be something in it. Potentially lots of creatures and enemies. Maybe even a mini boss fight. And as you go through the control room, you can see there's more rubbish and stuff. Is there a switch to press? Nope. But I'm guessing there will be some consumables on there. Doesn't seem to be anything else happening in here, button-wise. And the hole has gone. That used to be in the side where you would have to actually go through. So, big changes. I kind of like doing it like this. It means it's still going to be a bit of a surprise. You might see a lot of different types of enemies. So I'm not going to show you, actually, with the character. That will come in a proper guide. This is just a showcase of first look. But if we go deeper into the water, it does go down now. There is a big, huge outlet that you'll have to maybe swim through. So let's follow this and see where it goes. I've got a suspicion it may end up being where the area is near the slabs. There was a grill that you could access that had a scab in it. A drain. But maybe not. This is huge. So if there's spiders and all sorts in here, that is definitely going to be a huge challenge. It does look like there's a breathing point, so you can catch your breath at a couple stages. And I'm kind of glad about this. It means we might have a use for some of the water equipment, which kind of just becomes useless. Look, it goes on forever. There's two tunnels to go down. Let's run down this way and see what happens. So remember, this could be filled with enemies. That is going to be the surprise for you guys. As you venture further in, this is such a long place. You're definitely going to need some breathable equipment here. Especially doing this in the dark. I'm guessing their mushrooms illuminate things a little bit. But probably not as much as you would think. And then eventually it looks like we're finally leaving. Or leading up. Or, or not. It's just a blocked tunnel. There's no way out here. Not at the moment anyway. So there must be something here. There must be a scab. Or some sort of chip. Or something worthwhile coming all this way. If we actually just go above the ground... You can see how long it runs through and where it comes out is it's completely different from where I thought it would be. It's right on the other side, but it does indeed go all the way down. So I'm going to go all the way back now. We'll speed up a little bit and then we'll go to that other turning and see what's down that way. Okay, so let's carry on here. I'm guessing this is going to take us to that grate that's always kind of been there. So it could be potentially a way out. Or there's a hole inside, so you can escape through this way. Yeah, there we go. So you will be able to access the laboratory. This might be the only new way to actually get into the laboratory. If you can see where this is. This is still quite a far way. Things have definitely changed a lot. So we're still technically just on the outskirts of the haze environment. So you may still need some breathing gear for that too. Alright, let's go back in. It does look like it is going to go to where I think it's going to go. Aha! So it does look like there is more pipes, but these pipes clearly aren't maybe finished at all. They've not been properly added to the game yet, I don't think. Yeah, but it does show a hint of what's to come in the future. We're going to have even more pipes leading to more places to hopefully give us a chance to go and explore even more. It's insane how big these pipes are and where they open up. In fact, you could get into these, so maybe these are in the game now that you can actually utilise them just to get around and get through secret places. There's a whole bunch of different areas, new caves, so I'm guessing there's going to be something here, or it could be prepping for the future. It'd be great if you can build bases in here and pretty much have cave bases, proper cave ones, that would be cool. But yeah, I definitely think this is a bit unfinished, so I'm sure that will change in the future. You can see we're right by the boundaries, by the fence, and you can see it's there as well. Interesting, interesting stuff. Now what I wanted to see was if it was any way attached to this one that's been here for ages. But no, it kind of seems to be just on its own thing. It's not really attached, or it may have even been removed. It does look like the grill has been removed that once had a scab in it. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spot, I don't know, but I can't see it there anymore. So it does look like the weed can has had a bit of a revamp too. 
there's definitely some changes gone on there. It looks a bit brighter and certain things look like they've been made a bit rustier or older looking. Juice carton's still where it should be and the rest of this landscape looks more or less the same. I'll bet just more of the mushrooms floating around. And again, I don't know if it's my complete imagination, but it looks like there's had more of the stones added. So there we go. That is the Haze revamped little brief showcase. Of course, I'll be having proper guides showing you how to unlock it all. It does look like it's tied to some other caves that I'm going to show you guys and explore further and deeper. But as you can see, there's lots of places to go and have this fun. So hopefully I haven't spoiled too much, but you know, you've clicked, you've watched this far. I'm guessing you don't mind the spoilers. And yeah, I'll be back for proper guides. Go and check out the next video. It's going to be the sandbox video. And then after that, I'm going to show you even more of the laboratories as well as the picnic bench too in other videos. Laters, rat bags.